Okay. Ethan. Ethan's not the sharpest tool in the shed. He's very nervous. His mathematical skills stink. Okay. Yeah. Ethan buys a video game on sale. The video game usually costs $40. I just look at it and say, here's the deal. Ethan, $39.99 is too tough of a number for Ethan. And I will show you how to mathematically do the problem exactly. And I'm also going to show you that common sense math on multiple choice, please use it. If, if Ethan says this costs 40 bucks, okay, normally, and they took 20% off, and it says, how much did Ethan pay? It didn't say, how much did he save? What's 10%? Somebody raise their hand. 10% of 40 is really easy. Please raise your hand and tell me 10% of 40. Robert? Well, this is... It's 4. If 10% is 4, 4 plus 4 will give me 8. That's 4 is 10%. 4 is 10%. Just listen, because I'll, I'll do it two different ways. It's 8 bucks off. 32 bucks. Now, take a look at this. Um, if it's 20% off, it's an okay sale. It's not great. If it was 50% off, he's paying half. So, I look at this and say, dude... If it's 26 cents off, don't buy. It's crazy. They didn't give me a sale at all. If it's $7.99, that's the actual discount they gave me. $14.99 is less than half price. I don't think I would have even done this question. I would have probably been able to look at that pretty close. Now, if you're one of those mathematical kids that says, no, I don't like to use the common sense approach. I want to just do this thinking problem the way I'm supposed to. Perfect. Go. X equals 0.2 times 39.99. And when I do that, I get X equals 7.99. Um, and then I subtract it out. You always realize that your percent off is how much money you save. No. I should also, our new textbook, should be teaching you a lot of different crazy things. For example, there are some kids out here that say, Mr. Salo, why are we, when you get to high school, I wouldn't have you calculate the sale of how much you're taking off and then subtract. I would just tell if it's 20% off, what percent are you paying for? If it's 20% off, you're paying how much? Half. No. 70%. No. As always, add up to 100. 80%. 80. I would have done 39.99 times 80, 0.80. Okay, my next one. Uh, number nine. Dagny measures and finds that she can do a vertical jump that is 27.5% of her height. Of her height. If Dagny is 48 inches tall, how high can she jump? Now, she's saying she can't jump her whole height, but she can jump 27.5% of her height. Okay, this is part equals percent decimal of the whole. I'm going to go 0.275 times 48. 0.275 times 48. Now, like I said, I'm not testing your mathematical abilities to multiply to three-digit decimals. Uh, if you can pick the right formula, like I'm doing here, part equals percent of whole, I would end up doing on here 0 0.275 times 48. And uh, how high can she jump? She can jump 13.2 inches. Now, um, on this question, I would kind of look and I would just kind of see if it makes sense. 25%? 25% means divide by 2, divide by 2. 48 divided by 2 is 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. If it was 25%, she'd be going 12. 27.5 is a little higher. It's 13.2. Go do my next one. 11. The directions on a sewing pattern. No, sorry. Jackson hikes 220.2 meters up a mountain. If he's 60% of the way up, how tall is the mountain? Now, here's the thing. It's not telling me in here at all how... I need to set up the problem. It's not limiting me and telling me, please, do part equals percent whole. It's not, it's not telling me anything like that. I look at this question, I think the easiest thinking way to do a question is, 
is on top of all percent out of 100 or part over whole equals percent over 100. I do this question as 60 over 100. The 220, that's how much he hiked up the mountain. Is how much he hiked up the mountain part of the mountain or the whole stinking mountain? Part. It goes on top. 220. Point 0.2 x. Now, I love showing you shortcuts, but we're so late in this chapter. Shortcuts don't really work well. I mean, if you understand shortcuts, I'd cross off my zero, I'd call it six tenths. I'd cross off six tenths, call it three fifths. I'd use numbers way smaller. It would mean less plunking in my calculator. Now, it doesn't save me a whole lot, so it ain't worth me confusing you right now. I circle this, I want x on the left side, 60x equals 220.2 times 100. I'm going to do it in my head. 22020. I slide it over two spots. 22020. Divide by 60. Divide by 60. Now, I take a look. Oh, I'm probably also going to default and tell you that, boy, I shouldn't be doing all this work right now. 22020 divided by 60. Tells me that that mountain is 367 meters. Now, take a look. If, if they went up 60% of the mountain, here's the mountain. Well, I'm a great art teacher. I should have been an art teacher. I missed my calling, okay? Uh, I know half's right here, so 60% is right there. Okay? This is 220. Okay? I draw my hillbilly redneck picture of a mountain, okay? That's 220. The whole stinking mountain's up to right here. Why can it not be A? Because it's too small. It's too, it, A is right here. And no, it can't be, it probably won't be 280 either because it's way too small. And then, holy smokes, 13,200 would mean it's way, he only went up 20% of the mountain. So, always look at your choices and think, boy, does common sense let me use that or no? Now, last question, number 11. The directions of the sewing pattern say to cut an extra 15% of the fabric to account for any errors or what you use on the inside to tuck so that you can get your seams. Chloe needs 0.75 yards of fabric to make a skirt. She cuts 0.1125 yards. Did Chloe cut the correct amount? Okay. Um, people, she needs this. She needs... 0.75. She caught 0.1. Is 0.1 way less than 0.7? Yeah. Here's what she did. She did the problem of this. She said 0.15 of 75 <coughs> gives me. I need to include an extra 0.1125. And then I should have included the 75. So she wanted to do 0.8625 yards. Okay, so she said that she cut just the amount for the air. Oh, she's way far off. So that means if you misinterpret the question, you're going to be horribly dressed inappropriately. If you don't have enough yards, not a good gig. So I'm going to say no. Uh, why? Uh, she's got way too much, she's way too little. She actually cut the air. That's how much she has to put onto the 0.75. So the 0.1125 is needs to be added back 